here it is, friends. The oldest car device. Kind of. This is um, this is the basic setup we have here. The U-drawn coils. Uh, these are small um, uh, bearings. The whole thing is using uh, helicopter bearings from model helicopters. And uh, up here we have reed switches, which I took out of uh, two, well, part of an alarm system. Here we have number 28 copper wire. Uh, each um, electromagnet is connected to five um, nine volt batteries in series. So that's, uh, what is that, 45 volts at about three amps. And the other coil, it's the same deal. Um, the U-tron coils here uh, are hollow, but there's a sphere of uh, salt water in each one. The other coil, the U-tron coil here, is uh, built a little differently. It's uh, it was the first coil I built, and it's using um, well, it's not using bearings for the uh, pivot points, and uh, it's just a little bit shoddier built. It's kind of I'll have to rebuild this one eventually. Yeah, so anyways, uh, without further ado, I will turn it on. The coils are already, well the electromagnet coils are already turned on, they're triggered by the reed switches. It's just the, uh, the two U-tron coils which I have to turn on. And I'm using my, uh, my power supply here, 12 volts. Uh, it's actually close to three amps, not two, but so here we go. Oops. Okay. Turning it on. Nothing happens at first. It needs a little push to get it going. There. And there it is. Unfortunately, I can't have it running too long because the U-trons get quite uh, hot because I'm basically uh, shorting them out when I turn them on. Um, having them spin around kind of cools them a little bit. But eventually the plan is to uh, create um, two more electromagnets. Uh, and... Um, you know, that'll make it spin faster. But uh, I also want um, to 
to put the capacitor plates in on each side here, one on each side. And um, hopefully that will improve the whole thing. And uh, what's supposed to happen is that um, as the thing, uh, when the thing travels fast enough, um, the utron coils begin to spin all on their own. That's just uh, what I've learned. But um, in case they don't, what I could do is um, connect uh, the shaft of the utron um, with a gear to the central shaft. Um, you know, uh, two gears basically. So that as it rotates, um, the gear will also rotate uh, the utrons. And uh, at higher speeds, uh, the utrons turn into a gyroscope, which, uh, when moved in this manner, uh, eventually create um, an anti-gravitational effect, which um, hopefully I can document at some point. I'll be needing uh, some kind of um, sensitive digital um, scale of some kind, which I could put the thing on. and. Um, yeah, hopefully, given enough time and money, of course, I can create a functional uh, anti-gravity over unity device. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Adios.